welcome to Romford Film Festival. I'm joined by the team from Ashland, which we all really, really enjoyed. So uh, I'll allow you to introduce yourselves down the line. Uh, yeah, I'm Billy Harry. I'm the writer, uh, one of the producers, and uh, I was in it as well. Marvellous. I'm Dan and Diaz. I'm the director. I'm Anna-Sophie Schleicher, or Annie for short. Um, I'm a co-producer, was the fight director on Ashland, and I played the character of Axe. And my name's Alice Ryan, and I was one of the producers. Fantastic. Well, welcome all. So, uh, talk to me about this wonderful film. How did the premise come to you? You said you were the writer, so how did you get the team together? Did it start with you, and then you brought the idea to Dan, or how did this all come about? Um, it started as a showreel scene that got out of hand, if oh I'm being honest. Um, yeah, that was how it started. Annie and I talked at uh, Rain Dance Film Festival um, a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? And um, yeah, we just started, I started writing and liked it. We decided to expand it, and that was, yeah, that was how, it, how it came about. And how did Alice and, and Daniel come to be involved? Were you also at Rain Dance? Did you all meet there? I will pass that across. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, um, I did the video did videography for the Rain Dance Gala last year, um, and we also worked together on The Grey Room. Um, which so, we all uh, saw yesterday, yeah. which was also really, really wonderful. Uh, and yeah, be, uh, during the production of The Grey Room, um, Billy came on board as a producer as well and helped out um, on the production side of things. And yeah, he's probably pretty much excelled from there, really. And uh, yeah, so since then, different projects, he's, he's approached, approached me on for this one, and uh, yeah, that's... Sorry, it's all Fantastic. Again. So it all came together quite organically. Yeah. So tell, talk to me about the kind of the shooting process. I recognise, I think, uh, Duncan Ewan's studio as one of the shooting locations, but whereabouts did you shoot it and how was it all arranged? Uh, so we shot, yeah, one of the, it was not the studio, it was at Duncan's house, uh, which oh. was the, um, which is the sort of the care incident. And then there was, a, we, needed a, we needed a warehouse. Oh. So essentially we, uh, we looked at various different suggestions and uh, eventually um, a friend of mine, John may be at Apple Warehouse, said, well, you can use our place, but you have to, it has to be a weekend when it's not being used. So essentially the shoot was three days, so we shot the um, Karen's in the one day, and then we had a separate shoot of two days, Saturday, Sunday, for the, uh, for the warehouse. So yeah, so it was, it was quite an intense shooting period, and we had, to be, uh, we had to be on it the whole way through. So big thanks to all of the team and the actors and everyone for, for making it happen, because... Um, as a game, as I say, it was quite a truncated process, shall we say, but yeah, we managed to do it, and uh, yeah. I think we managed to get, I think, 32 shots in one day, <laughs> on, on, on one of the, on one of the um, shooting days, so that was quite a, quite a shooting period. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It was I'm quite sorry. intense, we had like a few moments where we did like a one shot or a two shot, and just like, yeah. let's keep going, let's keep going, so. And it was bloody freezing as well, I'm not going to lie to you, it was yeah. so cold in that warehouse, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I feel for Annie because she was like just Yeah, I had yeah. a summer top yeah, and yeah. just a jacket over it. I was like, don't <laughs> show in front of the camera. <laughs> Annie and, and Billy, that you acted in it as well as acting as producers and, and writing the set. So how was that? Because I, I always imagine that must be quite difficult when you're wearing several different hats on set. So did you find it difficult jumping between those different different roles or how did you find it? I would say a challenge for me was, um, because I was also the fight director, to just keep going with the process because we didn't have time to watch everything back, so we just had to keep going. And just to be there, be like, hey, let's maybe do the punch one more time and then just go with it. And you had to trust everybody on set that they knew what they were doing. So that was quite challenging. That's just, always really difficult, I think, yeah. if you're producing or you're or a writer as well or anything like that, and then you're having to act as well, you do have to sort of put those things to one side. And we sort of said beforehand, like as a producer, um, I was saying I want to get everything together so on the day you guys can just focus on the acting or just focus on the fight choreography mm -hmm. and get everything as, as you know, good as you really want it. Mm -hmm. So it was then helped that we had such a good team and lots of people that were able to sort of bring everything together so these guys could then just focus and give you the brilliant, brilliant performances that were on screen. Yeah, I think, um, and you know, a lot of it's done in pre-production, you know, the more organised you are, yeah. the easier the shoot becomes. Um, from, from my perspective, as a, as a writer as well, it's, um, you have to trust the director, and you know, you have to, you have to hand those creative reins over. Once you decide this is the right person to direct the shoot, you know, the trust has to go to them. And what Annie said, you know, it's right, you have to trust your team. So if you trust your team, 
And it's also a great combination to have actors who are filmmakers as well, people that have the filmmaking mind, um, the producing mind, but the kind of the, the interpretation of how a film is made behind the scenes as well. So it's kind of, it's a refreshing collaboration to have, um, especially when it's, it's a, such a tight schedule as well. So, yeah. Brilliant. Um, does anyone from the audience want to speak to the panel, just to give you that opportunity? You don't have to, but uh, Chris. Um, it ended up being actually one we didn't use. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I learned a great many things in this production, and most of, most of all, it's some of the shots because we originally wanted to sort of have the opening credits on the entrance, so we'd have all of the sort of names pop up as they're coming into the, the warehouse, um, and one of them was an overhead shot, um, and it was like. It got to a point where we're, me, me and the cinematographer were just like, "This, we, we need to sort of move on from this. this is not, we're not, we're not contributing to anything more in this moment." So, certain sacrifices had to be made. We had to sort of move on. But yeah, there was the, the time constraints and everything that followed. Um, you know, that essentially it came down to, as Annie said, you know, we had to really limit our takes um, and limit um, where we, the actors, you know, yet. You have to sort of rely on them to bring it in the in the first or second take to, to accommodate the rest of the shoot, so we can, you know, achieve that uh, initial schedule. Yes, it, you may have some drawbacks, but I think it's it was down to me to sort of weigh those balances and say no, this 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 will this will carry the narrative where it needs to go um, until we get to to the ending. So, yeah, it was. Um, Keeping up those um, sort of values during the shoot, uh, that was the most challenging part of it. Um, Does anyone else have a challenging moment? Maybe an actor or a producer? I think when things are getting tense on set, because, you know, again, like everyone would love to have four or five days, but, you know, we're all limited by budgets and that's the thing. Time constraints. Yeah, I think time constraints are the thing, you know, like in an ideal world, you know, we probably would have had an extra day, maybe an extra two days on it. But it is what it is, and I think that that's one of the things that even when things got tricky, the team just sort of like pulled together and things. I feel like, again, that's really important in making any film. You have a team that's good, that you can work together, that you can bounce ideas off of and stuff. And yeah, I think we did that. Mm. I mean, it's not really for me to judge. I'll let you guys judge that. <laughs> well, I loved it. I thought it looked absolutely fantastic, and I thought it was a fantastic effort from all of you. Um, just to kind of uh, bring things to a close, I'm interested in your future plans both for this film and also just where you want to go in your filmmaking journey. Uh, are you maybe gearing up toward a feature next time, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm lucky enough to be in Bernersy Tales, uh, Fall of the Roman Empire, which is a feature film which is currently in cinemas, which comes out on Amazon Prime on the 10th of June. So um, I'm lucky enough to be in that. And we've got um, on our slate Hellfire, which is a production company I'm a partner in. Uh, we've got four feature films on the slate ready to go. So um, yeah, so hopefully by the end of this year we'll have four, maybe even five uh, feature films sort of either done or on the way. So. Exciting times! So now, what about uh, Dan or Annie or Alice? Uh, yeah, um, I've got um, I've been optioned for a feature film next year. Um, that's sort of in early, very early development. I'm, I'm having discussions with a writer next week, and it's essentially um, tallying up um, the kind of resources I'd need to pull together and bringing together the team um, to, to get, give the appropriate infrastructure for the production. So it's yeah, it, it's it really comes down to um, just getting my first feature film in really. So it's it's just yeah, trying to sort of get the right the right eggs in the right basket. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so um, for me, you might be able to catch me in a little series called My Lady Jane, which um, is coming out on Amazon Prime, I think mid-June. Uh, I worked on one episode, so it's nothing major, but it is part where the journey is going. Um, and I'll also be by directing a play again. We, we're having a rerun, which I did last year in Berlin, Germany, and I'm also acting in that one, so that's gonna be the immediate thing that's following, and then fingers crossed that there's a feature on the horizon, so. Great stuff, and uh, Alan? Um, 
I'll be working with Art Pictures on the first feature film based on our short film, The Night Blooms, which um, hopefully some of you saw on Saturday. Love that film. Um, and also sort of working on a few other short film projects and a few other features going down the line as an actor and uh, the producer as well. Good fun. And all in all, well, we at Romford wish you all the best of luck with all those amazing projects. And thank you so much for coming and sharing your film with us. Thanks for having us.